Hi, I'm Gauri and this is Karana Hi. and we're Jodi. Um, we're here to talk to you, like Amishi said, about pattern and for us how pattern the word has been central in our journey. Um, sometimes it's really funny, you know, we don't really look, we, I don't think, you know, you really look for specific patterns in life, but like life throws certain patterns out at you. And by that, we specifically mean uh, we, you know, to talk about how the concept of pairs has been really, really central to our relationship and our business. Um, when we first met, we didn't ever really plan to start a business together. I'd, we didn't even plan to start anything together. We met at work and we had a few great shoot days and we went out a few yeah. times. Yeah, a few drinks. Drinks is important to start a business. Um, and, you know, we kind of connected over how much we both loved the handicraft sector and we loved fashion and we wanted to kind of um, find our way through it as young women. So what we realized was that we really enjoyed working together and we had similar value systems and work ethic and we shared a deep love for Indian crafts as Gauri mentioned. And after working together at Elle magazine, we both were individually at a place where we realized we had more to offer creatively and we both wanted to do more for the craft, center, uh, craft sector. Ten years ago, we definitely felt uh, there was a gap in the Indian market where uh, for an Indian homegrown brand uh, that used crafts to make its products and available at a more affordable price point. And uh, so we were like, you know, maybe we should uh, do something together about this. And I remember very clearly we actually started ideating by putting together a Pinterest board. And after looking at the Pinterest board, we got really excited and we were like, we, we have to give this a shot. I mean, let's try this. And we worked with the pleasure of doing something that was interesting and constructive and to enjoy it and have fun. And um, that's how Jodi was born. And literally, we look back now, you know, uh, to how naive we were and just two young girls just determined to build something of value. Um, not only did we end up like starting a business together, but we also um, named it after the concept of pairs. Um, within our first conversation, we both knew that we wanted to uh, the name of the brand to reflect um, the fact that you know, this one thing bonded us instantly, that I had a twin sibling and Karana had a twin sibling. It was too serendipitous to not pay heed. <coughs> like, all of our lives, we had barely, like, you rarely meet other twins, especially growing up, and here we, like, met each other at a workspace. So it was kind of funny that we found each other along with our twins, and that's how the word name Jodi came. In various languages, it means, means pairs. Even in Hindi, Jodi means pairs, and it was kind of like a really um, interesting into what we were planning to kind of do with with the brand um, it's a play on the fact that most things in our life have come to us in pairs whether as twins um, or coming together creatively as business partners for a love for print and color and we believe that great things happen in twos a block printer in uh, Jaipur also has twin granddaughters a first pair of interns also turned out to be twins so it's crazy how we keep running into twins and our logo, if you see our logo as well, it's sort of like a winking eye, which is symbolic of pair and humor. Um, we finished 10 years this year with Jodi. And, you know, 10 years later, we've not only, you know, we think we built the brand of our dreams, but we've also had such a, just a great time doing it. Um, one thing that we've realized through our entire journey is another pattern that's really followed us is that we've, um, looked for joy in the entire journey. That's been the key word that's taken us to where, uh, taken us forward, taken us to where we are today. We've looked at joy in how we design and what we design. We look at, we, we think of joy in who we design for um, and how we put a team together. You know, when we built Jodi, it was really important to us that we build an inclusive brand, a brand for all, designed for all. Um, and honestly, it also, it joy, when you think of like joy globally, it feels like color is what everybody kind of resonates with in terms of the word. And you know, boy, we've really jumped into color with the brand, like <laughs> every combination, every mix. So intrinsically and aesthetically, both of us tend to lean towards print and pattern. And we were specific about building a brand based on craft using the expertise of Indian craftspeople. It also happened uh, to be that between the both of us, we have the skills to uh, build a print-based clothing label. I've studied fashion design and Gauri has studied graphic design. 
and so we we actually uh, you know had the resources internally to build the product that we visualized and we wanted to build a brand that had a very unique visual aesthetic that was something we were very sure of and print and color was just the perfect medium for it we started our journey uh, exploring the craft of hand block printing to sort of realize our ideas and what we realized when we started 10 years ago a lot of uh, brands from outside india were using block printing and indian crafts uh, to sort of build their brands but uh, india was never the hero of the product and the karikars were never the center of the conversation and that's something we wanted to change sorry we'll keep switching in and out um in terms of design you know we we knew had a we had a vision to build a global um, aesthetic but while also like karna mentioned championing indian crafts that is where we started with with jodi our first set of brand was that we had actually thought of as global um, eclectic handcrafted the dream was to take the hundreds of different crafts that india has is is home to and build a diverse set of products what we didn't realize that that is impossible the craft diaspora in india is infinite i mean like there are hundreds of different crafts whether in scale whether in um just iterations that exist and um you know that's been exciting because we feel like where we started with the idea of wanting to explore so many crafts in 10 years we feel like we've only scratched the surface with um working with a print based craft which is hand block printing or hand screen printing and that really excites us because it gives us um a runway for like infinite possibilities and the idea of product development seems limitless limitless you know so it feels like we can build a brand that's generation that's generational that's beyond just the two of us which has always been um the idea of building jodi that we didn't want it to start and end with us we wanted it to be beyond us and not about us you know um i'm just going to take you to the process of how we build a pattern uh so it starts with actually building a mood board our travels and interactions with the world and people around us have informed the designs we create we're inspired by indian folk art culture design movies music literally anything can inspire us um sometimes we have a central theme so for example when we travel to the andamans together uh, it led to the development of a collection called c another collection of ours called anar was inspired by the silk route and middle eastern motifs but at times we also bring together uh, various singular visual themes and mix them and mix and match them together to build a collection and where it starts is where we start sort of sketching the ideas on the drawing board we sit together with our team and sort of start sketching the motifs based on the mood board we um then take each of these like ideas and further sketch them out we hold team discussions um concepts that we like are then further you know uh, developed first every idea is developed by hand and then we take it we do iterations digitally we also do iterations of patterns with these motifs um these patterns need to be like sit within the limitations of the craft that we are working with which in our case is block printing or screen printing so repeat of repeat in terms of the motif and the scale of the design is a limitation that we have to work with time and again um this is a little bit of ho look kuch bana jao ji man beet karao ji ra kyu tarsave ho man sakal dikhao ji thari sararat sab janu main to thari ਅਰ ਚਲੇ ਉਹਨ ਬੰਗਾ ਦੀ ਮੈਂ ਕਹਿ ਲਗੇ ਮਰ ਬੁੜੇ ਮੈਂ ਜਾਗੀ ਦੋ ਕਣੀ ਵੇ ਚੰਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਥਾਰੀ ਚਾਂਦਨ ਸੋ ਆਮ ਜਸਟ ਗੋਨਾ ਟਾਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੈਸ ਆਫ ਸਰ ਆਫ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਅ ਜੋੜੀ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਟ ਵਾਂਸ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਸਰ ਆਫ ਸਕੈਚਡ ਆਊਟ ਦ ਡਿਜ਼ਾਈਨ ਐਂਡ ਫਾਈਨਲਾਈਜ਼ਡ ਦ ਪੈਟਰਨ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਸ਼ੇਅਰਡ ਐਂਡ ਡਿਸਕਸਡ ਵਿਦ ਅ ਮਾਸਟਰ ਬਲੌਕ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਟਰ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਸ਼ੰਕਰ ਲਾਲ ਜੀ ਔਨ ਦ ਵੀਡੀਓ देयर he's kind of like a main man he's the reason jodi exists if you almost think of him as a third co-founder and a husband's constantly tease us the hazeeb in which we speak to him we don't even speak to our husbands in that sort of manner lovingly so sort of he is sort of uh, like a th- literally like a third co-founder uh, once a print is made we sort of share it with him because he is a master craftsman and he understands uh, block printing as we don't work with traditional hand block print uh, motifs 
it's very important to sort of discuss and ideate with him whether this design we've created is workable for him. And after a lot of sort of, I think, effort, we managed to find a printer who agreed to do um, the prints that, that we create. So we're very sort of grateful for him. Um, once the print is approved, it is then sent to the uh, block maker. Uh, there are very few block makers left in India now because it's a very meticulous and time consuming craft. Uh, the block maker basically then carves the wooden block by hand and a pattern could have anywhere between one to eight blocks depending on the design and the colorways. Uh, once the blocks are made, that then comes the most exciting bit. We get super excited when we see our blocks because this is when we actually travel to Jaipur and we sample uh, our prints with our block printer. We spend a day or two making colors with our block printer and um, that's when they sort of experiment with various color combinations and sometimes we sort of end up doing seven to ten color combinations for a single print. It's a very long process but it's one that we thoroughly enjoy because this is when we see our ideas come to life on the hand block printing and screen printing table. Um, once the sampling is done, we both travel back with the samples to the studio and that's where we kind of um, then sit with the team and look at all of these various color combinations, see what designs kind of sit with each and we basically close the prints. So this entire process just is to close the prints, not even to close the collection. So like Karna said, it's a very time consuming process, but you know, the joy is in the process and even with commercial demands, uh, even though commercial demands put us into really like heavy timeline stresses, you can't hurry your hand process. And as much as we've had to kind of like understand that about business, we've had to understand that about working with craft ourselves that we can't push ourselves to a point where you, you know, you can't even push your karigas out to a point where it's not going to be an enjoyable process. So you have to let it kind of work within what, what its requirements are. Um, the Jodi print, when we started the brand, you know, we were very clear about it being a print-based band. Um, our print is what allows us to hero the handicraft. We design to marry uh, color and motifs in a way that feel fun and joyful, that also feel aesthetically global. With crafts, there's a possibility that uh, the end product, you know, can look local or specific to how the craft has been looked at ever throughout, throughout, its, throughout its life. So what we really focus on is trying to design prints that are relevant across cultures that free, feel fresh and feel um, new. Uh, here are some of the, I mean, this is just an example of prints we wanted to take you through. So if, if there's that Kokomo print, which is kind of inspired by a, like an ancient Russian motif, um, the octopus print Karuna mentioned was we had gone on a trip to Andamans and that's where that came out from. Both the Surai print and the Chitara print are inspired by the Surai art, which is where women in central India uh, paint their homes in rural India with these motifs. So that's what inspired these prints. Um, I'm just going to take you sort of through the process of uh, the handicrafts that we use. Uh, we work with natural Indian textiles. And as mentioned earlier, that hand block printing is a big part of a Jodi. Uh, it's a craft that has been practiced in India thousands of years ago, and it takes years to perfect. So wooden blocks are meticulously stamped on um, onto the fabric and a separate block for each color, and followed by various processes to fasten the color. Uh, within that process, we also use a technique called resist hand block printing, where a fabric is first block printed with a mordant, uh, and uh, then we dye that fabric to ensure that the dye doesn't enter that area where the mordant has been applied. And we can then further add another color to that sort of print. It's again a very long process. Um, other than block printing, we also use screen printing, which is done by hand by artisans, because there are limitations to block printing. With screen printing, we can sort of work with a larger scale of prints. Uh, that's also a similar process where the designs are stenciled onto mesh screens and then sort of um, laid out on the fabric and or the color is applied to them. Other than printing, a big part of actually Jodi collections now is hand embroidery. Um, applique is something that we've been using a lot lately in our collections. It's an ornamental needlework in which pieces of patches of fabrics are stitched together to form a design. And um, we play around with various other embroidery techniques as well, with like Zardozi, Ari, and various other traditional Indian uh, embroideries. We also work with other crafts where we've uh, sourced uh, a cut from Pochampali, we work with an artisan in Kutch where we've done natural clam dyeing and bandhani. 
we're actually so lucky and grateful that India is home to such a treasure trove of crafts and artisans, and we get to collaborate with small scale manufacturers and craftspeople around the country. Ten years of learning. What have we learned in this time? I mean, there are. Uh, it's an infinite bucket of what we've learned. Entrepreneurship is not a journey that can be like uh, sketched out and you can tell somebody how to do business. It's unique to each person. It's unique to what they want to do, what they prioritize. One, prioritize the source. If you want to work in the craft sector, first find the right Karigar partner and understand how they work and their strengths. Um, to work in partnership with them is of key importance to the growth of the brand. Their knowledge is generational. It's not something that you can pick up instantly. So never underestimate how central they are to the process in terms of both design and production. Don't ever take no for an answer. Everything is possible. Um, if, you, if it isn't, you aren't speaking to the right person or looking in the right direction, um, especially if you're women entrepreneurs, I mean, and starting off young, uh, everyone's going to sit and just kind of tell kind of tell you the way they feel they look at things and it's really important to uh, find your way through it and there is there's always a way there's always a solution um, we struggle a lot initially with finding Karigar partners it's a very male dominated industry uh, language is a barrier every region speaks a different language but you know you you do find the people everybody there are people willing to grow people wanting to kind of move along with you so you have to be at it um, Remind yourself why you started. As business gets more business-like, everything other than the creative process becomes important. Today, both Karuna and I spend only 5% of our time on design. 95% of the time goes into running the business and dealing with like the thousand different things that happen while you're doing that. So every now and then, it's important that we both need to like recenter ourselves and understand why we came on this journey, why we started this journey. And for us, that was craft. So it really grounds us back into why we're doing this, why are we part of this madness. A few other lessons we've learned is that you have to remind yourself also you can't do everything. It's not possible to do all the work on your own and it's important to build the right team. And in fact, as your business grows, you would realize your key role as a leader is to put together the best team. We've realized people management is a skill that you need to have as a business owner, otherwise it's just not possible to go ahead. Another thing that's important is that uh, you don't know everything. While you may have a clear vision of how you see your brand, it doesn't mean it's the only way. Uh, the world is changing, perspectives can vary. I think it's very important to be open to differences and it helps you stay relevant and present. And it's very, very important to keep evolving, especially in an industry like fashion where everything changes by the minute. And I think that sort of determines the longevity of your business. Another important thing we wanted to talk about was uh, sustainability. Sustainable became sort of a buzzword, where it suddenly became really sexy to use the word sustainable, and it had to be attached to sort of your brand uh, to, be, to stay cool and relevant. And of course, we want to be sustainable, but we keep, keep questioning ourselves that are we really sustainable? Honestly, we are not a sustainable brand, because is there really a way to produce products in such a fashion that would truly be good for the people and the planet. You know, sustainable manufacturing is an oxymoron and everything we make pollutes. However, we can be responsible and follow fair business practices and work towards minimizing the environmental harm caused by manufacturing. Um, we have a really long way to go and we want to dig deeper. In, but in the meanwhile, we're trying, to, trying our best to be responsible and transparent with our community about our process and practices. Uh, we work with the artisans of India using handcrafted processes. We work primarily with cotton versus polyester uh, that does derive from petroleum. Cotton is biodegra uh, biodegradable versus polyester. However, cotton also requires extensive um, land, water, and energy resources. Um, so, and we, we try to create inventory as per demand and reduce wastage, uh, hence the longer shipping timelines. Um, we also have a relove program uh, for pre-love Jodi, uh, which extends the life cycles of garments. These are small things we are doing. Uh, we use biodegradable uh, packaging. However, we're yet to eliminate um, single-use plastics within our supply chain. So there's a lot to learn. There's a lot. There's a long way to go. Uh, but our aim is to be responsible and accountable, and be transparent with our community. 
and the customer is smart, and I don't think greenwashing is the way to move forward. And finally, we're at respect the natural pattern. I mean, I started this talk saying that we never really look for patterns, and patterns found us. Um, life has a funny way of directing you to your life path, and that feels, um, you know, common between the two of us. We've never overplanned anything, we've never overanalyzed anything, or we've never overthought our life decisions. We've been so open to opportunity and change and feedback. And, you know, where our energies were required at a certain point in life is where we have tried to serve and prioritize our time. Uh, flow is a word we really love. It symbolizes a natural pattern to be in motion. We love the idea of honoring what life has in hold for us and to approach that with um, curiosity and an appetite to grow. To create from that space is what our endeavor is, and we hope to continue to do so and to like continue on this path of discovery with Jodi. Thank you. Thank you.